how are you doing? Good. Wow, I can't believe it's already week 10. I'm really going to miss UCLA. I know. I'm going to miss going to campus. I'm even going to miss Bolter and the green marbled stairs. I know, right? Remember when we had to pass through the second floor of Bolter to get to EE 10 sophomore year? Yeah, that place was spooky. But look at this nice pic of Bolter. This is so bittersweet. I wish I kept a journal all this time. Wait, I have an idea. Let's make an album of all our memories at UCLA. Ooh, I like the sound of that. We can even add our own little comments in the photos. This way we can save our memories. Wait, what do you mean? We can't just do that. Look, let me show you. Here, do you remember this? Yeah, that was the best nap spot on campus. Changed my mind. Here, send me the picture of Bolter and I can encode this message right in the photo. But I'm going to have to make the photo a little bit smaller for this to work. Yeah, give me one second. Oh, got it. See, I made the photo much smaller. That's so cute. Now, watch this. So we're going to select the first photo and first text file and press encode. Wait, what are all those values? Oh, those are actually the input image pixel values. And then now it's starting to print the output image pixel values after encoding it. Whoa. It looks just like the original one. How do I know if the message is really there? Are you Pranking me, Sirenoosh? No, I'm serious. Here, let me show you how you could decode the message. So we go back to our program, select that we're done encoding, and then since we would like to decode, we press the decode button and select one. And then conveniently, the password is right above. We type the password in, and boom, the decoder begins. There it is, there's a message. That's so cool, can we do another one? I just sent you a pic of Royce. Oh, let me check it out. Gotcha, so what would you like to encode this time? Can you put what I sent you in the chat box? Uh, yeah, let me look for it. There we go. So now I'm going to encode. This time we select our second image and second text file and press encode. And just like that, your message is encoded. Wow. Now I, now I want to do one. Uh, wait, let's do this one. Oh, nice. Jans. So for the text message, I would like to write this. <laughs> wow, we did a lot, lot of napping, didn't we? Uh, oops. <laughs> That's better. So here we go. And there it is, it's encoded. Nice. Let's make sure it's really there. Okay, so let's try decoding it now. So cool. Wait, what did the second photo say again? Um, let's see. Um, wait, do you remember the password for that second photo? Hmm, is it 448? Uh, let me try. So we're going to select the second photo and uh, press decode and then um, type one. The password you said 448, huh? 
Yes. Uh, no, it says incorrect password. Do you remember the real one by any chance? Let me check again. Good thing I wrote these down. Is it 760? Uh, let me try. Yep, it's running. There it is. There's the message. Yay, it worked. Speaking of Jans, I want to enjoy the last few days on campus. Can we zoom again later to finish the album? Okay, have a good time. And don't forget to take some photos to add to the album. Yes, I'll bring my phone. Zoom you later. Bye.